Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dame, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 7th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, and in the YouTube algorithm's good graces, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in booking a private reading, then check out my website, daneharttarot.com, or follow the steps in the description box below. The link to the website is also in the description box below. I'm running an end of summer sale right now, so you guys might want to snatch that up while it lasts. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. And pay attention to the way the singing bowl sings, because that is our energetic sphere that we're stepping into. So any variance in the song, any smoothness of song, tells us a lot about our energy. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Aquarius, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. We have the Moon reversed. We have the Three of Wands reversed. We have the Six of Wands reversed, Angels and Spirit Guides. We have the Death card. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords reversed. We have the Fool reversed. We have the Hermit reversed. And we have our final cards, our final two cards are the Emperor and the King of Wands. Okay, so this is a very interesting reading. There's a lot on pause here. There's a lot that we're building up towards and that we're working forward towards. So there can be discouragement during this time where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm just not where I want to be. And we want to slam our fists down on the table. No, that's perfectly normal. Like you're not alone, <laughs> believe me but there is a lot of power that's coming forward because you're going to see that you're facing fears that if you didn't face them now, right, they would have held you back forever. And so you can sit there and say, well, Dane, I don't want to face them now. And spirit is saying, don't care. And I know that's really mean. And I know we don't like to hear that. But what we're going to see here is we're going to see ourselves becoming very, very powerful. And spirit is like, no, but you need to get here because everything that you want, all your happiness, all your joy, all your success, it's here. But we're working through our fears and we're working through certain pathways that we thought we were going to be walking down. Not an option, right? And also we need to celebrate ourselves, but we don't feel like we can celebrate ourselves because we're afraid. And the way that we thought things were going to go isn't the way that it's going. So looking at ourselves here and knowing that there is a gift from God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe of wealth prosperity, success, but it's also like, it's inspiration. And you can't put a price tag on that, though we would like to, right? We would like to say, this is how much being inspired is worth. You're going to find that there are inspirations that start to open up doors to you. You're like, oh, well, I can connect this to this and that to that. And oh, what about this? And what about that? And what about this idea? And what if I just ran with this? And it's like, oh, wow, I could do that. And that's the energy that you're building here. And the fears come forward and are like, but aren't you afraid, right? Aren't you afraid of public speaking? Aren't you afraid that you could fail? Aren't you afraid that they would laugh? And it's like, well, yeah. But I'm also afraid of not embracing my gifts, of not embracing my power, of not seeing me. So you're going to have those two fears kind of warred out with each other. And you're going to see that you win. You have the 10 of cups here. This is happiness. This is success. This is joy. This is where everybody's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did this. And Aquarius, we're like, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I'm so 
excited about it. We're not afraid of hard work. We're not afraid of rolling up our sleeves. We're not afraid of going after what we want. And we can want spirit to care a little bit more, like about where we are in the moment, about how it can feel overwhelming. But spirit's like, you know what? Keep on going forward. Keep, because you've got this, Aquarius. Don't stop. Don't stop because, you know, it's like, this is frustrating. Because there's a fear here, again, with the fool reverse. It's like, what if everybody laughs? What if, what if nobody understands what I'm going for? What if they don't see my vision? And it's like, yeah, but they won't. Like, here's the thing. In the time frame that we're in, you're not going to have a lot of people getting it. What you're going to have is a lot of people telling you you should follow the path that has already been trodden so much that it's dug a hole in the ground. And you're in that path that's so deep that you can't say any other way but doing it. You know, we all know people like that. Like, there isn't any other way. You have to follow this path. And that's what you do. Here, it's about being inspired. It's about going after what you want. It's about looking at things in a different way and using our beautiful Aquarius energy to say, well, what about this? And what about that? And how about we mess this up? And how about we like, you know, mess up the hair and, and do things differently, like wild and crazy and, and just go for it. What if we do that Aquarius? And it doesn't have to be super wild and crazy to anybody else, but it's going to be like little rebellions. Like what if you did things like on the wrong side? Right. What if you did things and, and were putting things together, but you like took the texture and put it on the outside instead of the inside, you know, type of thing. And I don't know what I'm seeing here, but I'm seeing thread. And like, what if you sewed it on the wrong side? Like, what if you did things on the wrong side? Is that like drive on the wrong side? That'd be horrible. But like, what if you did things and just did it a little bit differently? Because you've been always been like, well, what if I did this? You know, kind of like a kid is like, well, what if you do that? And what if you do that? And you're like, no, you have to do it this way. And it's like, well, what if you took the rules and threw them out the window? And said this week, okay, fine. You know, this is a week that's a little bit on pause. Half the week is going to be on pause. We feel like we're building up, building up, building up. And what if I then just went for it? What if I said, this is what I want. This is how I want to see. I want to see what happens. And what happens is like, all of a sudden, there's this huge shift and there's this transformation, right? We have the death card here. This is also Scorpio energy, time frame, October 23rd to November 21st. We then have... We have the Hermit here, which is Virgo energy. Time frame is August 23rd to September 22nd. And then we have the Emperor, which is Aries time frame, which is March 21st to April 19th. Oh, and we have the Moon here, which is February 19th to March 20th. This is right after Aquarius time frame. So this energy can be coming through. If we have this energy in our chart, if we have this energy in our life, you know, it comes through. The, the fears come through, the doubts come through, the power comes through, the seeing ourselves comes through. A, a real sense of like, this is what I want for me. I'm claiming my energy. I'm claiming, claiming my throne. I know where it is that I want to be. The fire energy coming through, right? This amplifies the Aries in our time, but the Aries is the ruler. Aries is also the god of war ruled by the god of war. So, I mean, double whammy, symbol being a ram, right? Fierce, yes, at times, but also a sheep not known for being completely like, you know, crazy like a bull can be. So just, or even like as fierce as a centaur can be. So here it's looking at ourselves or a lion, right? Think of the other signs where we think, oh, that's fierceness. And we think of a ram, but a ram is a sheep. So there's a dichotomy there. There's a gentleness, but there is an also I must rule. Like I must take the reins. And that's going to be what we see here. We have to take the reins. There's something about this time where it's like, no, I'll lead it. I got it. But we're going to step back and be like, please, somebody else do this. Please, anybody, anybody can take, you know, so just being aware of this is going to be super important. It moves us to our spirit energy. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, there are three things that you have to do. Like, comment with a butterfly and subscribe. Commenting with a butterfly lets me know that you want to be entered to win the reading. So if you don't, I'm going to absolutely respect that and you won't be entered. But if you do comment with a butterfly, you will be entered to win a reading, which will be announced on Sunday. It's announced every Sunday. So hit that bell notification because the YouTube algorithm really, really likes that. So thank you. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. And you also get to be notified when I upload. So here we have motion. A lot of this week is in motion. A lot of this week is moving. And sometimes it feels like it's just moving around us. We can feel like we're standing still and the week is moving around us. So just be aware of that. Mostly again, for the first part of the week, the, the second half of the week comes through a little bit more, a little bit more kind. It comes through a little bit more kind or a little bit kinder. There we go. 
angels, and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading Ooh, right here. We have clarity and we have forgiveness. So there's going to be a lot of clarity with our third eye chakra, a lot of insight, a lot of understanding. And it moves us forward with our heart chakra towards forgiveness, towards what we want, towards what we need to release in order to move forward to where we really want to be. And that's a really beautiful pairing. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels. This is rebirth reverse. There's something that we're trying to hold on to. There's something that we're saying, no, but it has to be like this. And spirit's like, why? Or no, it has to be, you know, I, I don't want that to change. And spirit's like, why? We are fighting a change here as, as common as the change of the moon. And we're going to embrace it. We are, because the death card is change, right? It's powerful and irrevocable change. But we're going to see ourselves resisting it for, for a little while here. You're going to be greatly inspired. If you let yourself, Aquarius, you are inspired in a way that others don't get, which can make you feel a little bit isolated. But it's also going to be like, oh, well, what about this? I just see, I just keep on hearing and seeing and almost like feeling like working with textures, the textures of things, things being different and not being the same as everybody else. And that's going to be really cool. Embrace what makes you happy. Hard work, dedication, determination. You're going to dive into what you love. And I know people say when you do what you love, it never feels like work. Yeah, but sometimes it does because sometimes you're not in love with it when you're starting to do it. So just be aware of that. But sometimes it'll be hard to start. But once you're in the groove of it all, it'll be like, okay, this is where I'm meant to be. So just be aware of that. You're going to want to be too conventional. You're going to want to clip your wings in one way or another and be like, no, but I have to do this. Like everybody else does this. I have to do this. It's like, oh, forget everybody else. <laughs> There's just such an energy here of like, oh, forget them. Like, what do they know? And, and start doing things with your own unique spin. Like start doing things your own unique way, but you're afraid that they'll laugh. You're afraid that by not following the rules, they're going to be like, oh, look at you, Aquarius. You didn't do it right. But by not doing it right, you're going to be interesting. And that's what you want to be. You want to be interesting, right? The hermit, you don't want to turn in. You want to go out, do everything, go everywhere. So kind of calm that down a little bit because that's going to be really exhausting, really fast. <laughs> With the emperor, claim your power. You're not going to do it like everybody else. You're just not. You're not going to fall in the line and people be like, oh, I can see that. I can see exactly how it, it moves and it goes and it goes just like this. No, it's going to be different. It's going to be interesting and it's going to be a little chaotic. So embrace that. Embrace that. You're creating something. You're cultivating something. You're moving something forward. And it's not going to play by everybody else's rules because they're your rules. And you're kind of making it up as you go, which it makes it interesting. And with the King of Wands, fire, tenacity, you know, just such determination, such a sense of like, I'm going to let myself shine. And I'm going after this. And it changes the game. It changes what you're looking for and how you're seeing yourself and what you really want. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message, which is balance. We're finding our balance again after, after being out of balance. It moves us to our subconscious chakra message, which is angels and nesters, angels and spirit guides. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. It is embracing our tenacity. It's moving forward in our abundance and distinction and, and power. It brings us then to the eight of pentacles reverse, which is very funny that it's going over the eight of pentacles in the upright position. We can kind of, okay, so we're going to get very inspired. We're going to be really like throw ourselves into our work type of thing, what we want to build, what we want to work on, whatever we're working on right now. It doesn't have to be our nine to five, right? Or however many hours we work. With the Eight of Pentacles, we can get really caught up in the nitty gritty details of it all. And that's what Spirit's saying. Hey, listen, be mindful about this because we'll be like, this is so important. And then if we put it aside and come back to it a while later, we'll be like, hmm, that was important. Seriously? Okay, whatever. So just be mindful about that during this time that we can get really caught up in the nitty gritty details. And it's like, it doesn't matter. But to us right now, it's going to matter a lot. So we need to step back from it. Our subconscious tarot message is the eight of wands even though things are on pause right this week in the first half of the week like things feel like we're reaching towards towards it or it's like a hologram like we're reaching to grab it but it's not there it's going to move fast so just be prepared for that subconsciously we can lose track of days we could be like whoa wait a minute like this happened already so just be aware of that because it's going to be moving fast this week is going to move fast all right all right aquarius i hope this reading has resonated with you I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. 
May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed week. Bye, guys.